Remnants of the Tustin hangar fire are still burning this morning as multiple Tustin Unified School District campuses are getting ready to open. We have KCON News reporter Rick Montanez running us live right now from Tustin near that hangar with more. Rick, good morning. And good morning. I could tell you we uh, could still see the fire burning on the drive out here. We even saw the plume of smoke and it is still a air quality and health concern as this fire burns in the hangar. You see off in the distance some of that glow from those flames still burning a week after this mysterious fire sparked up. Now we flew SkyCal over the remnants of the 17 story World War II era hangar last night. Flare ups have been reported several times in the past week. The city, the Navy and the federal government are all working together to figure out when crews can safely demolish what is left of the hangar. Remember, Schools and parks in the area have been closed since the day after the fire when asbestos was reported to be found in the debris. The city now has a website, a hotline, and a digital portal to report falling debris. Crews in full body suits have been spotted cleaning up as well. Some of the debris has carried possibly into neighboring cities. Testing stations have also been set up to monitor air quality, which is now being taken over by the EPA. Reports now indicate there is no breathable asbestos in the air, but people nearby are still being advised to limit outdoor activity, keep windows and doors closed and to not run their HVAC or AC systems to prevent outside air from being drawn into their homes. Today, some schools are reopening. It's been a challenging week for parents. I luckily work at home, so they don't go to school. OK, but I feel bad for the parents that have to go to work. What are you going to do? You get the notice the day of like on Thursday, it was Seven o'clock in the morning, we get a call. There's no school. The Tustin School District has been handing out grab and go lunches at school sites, and lines have been long as parents manage the closures and air quality concerns. Demolition here at this uh, historic hangar may happen soon. Supervisor Don Wagner says it may be timed out with the arrival of the impending rainstorm to help dampen down some of that dust. But at this point, we just have to wait and see what these emergency crews and cleanup crews decide to come up with as the weather is changing. Reporting live in Tustin this morning, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Yeah, let's hope that the rain helps. A friend of mine lives in that area. He said mm -hmm. the hangar is still burning yesterday and blows my mind, but this yeah. morning it's still the case. Rick, thank you.